brown male. So this little guy is just sort of uh, staring me out. So you can see that he was really responsive to my voice. I didn't speak at the very beginning because I wanted it to uh, really not encourage him, but for him to pick his own uh, pace. But it did help him come out of the enclosure. Um, he's quite happy. He's uh, right on my lap. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to give him uh, attention and a little bit of loving, hmm? just to let him know I'm a good thing in the room. Yes. Oh, you have such a sweet face. So he has super uh, eyes that want to talk to you. He's direct. Hey, you have a direct eyes. So soft, so kissy. Huh? Very good. Yes. So on the release aspect, he really couldn't do any better. He, um, a lot of puppies, uh, you know, this is the first time he's been away from his litter mates and uh, uh, just sort of dropped in this room. He's never been here before. He's never met me before. So that's a lot of stress. Um, he did react to my voice, but he... Um, he did push through. A lot of puppies uh, don't don't come out without uh, encouragement. So we are just going to uh, let him show us whether he's more social or environmental. So I'm I have introduced myself. He's lovely. He's happy. His tail's wagging. He's not really making an effort to leave. Um, there we go. <laughs> Of course, as soon as I say that. Um, some puppies actually, um, they come totally for uh, help uh, and to help them, uh, you know, like to get, they know what you are a person. And some puppies uh, are just really social, really happy, wants to, just want to be with you. It's not for security. Um, this little guy is, um, he was very happy. Um, when he was with me, which is a very nice, uh, there was no use of teeth, uh, very um, affectionate. Um, the goal, like the key here is for him to tell us uh, whether he's more environmental or more social. So if he has uh, balls and tents and he has the whole perimeter of the room to look around, um, but he's really not leaving me. He's using his teeth right now on my thumb, <laughs> so I'm going to take my hands away. But um, there are uh, no teeth on skin exercises for you to use. Uh, they should learn at an early age uh, not to, you know, that that's not acceptable. Um, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but uh, it's something that you should uh, encourage anyway. Do those exercises anyway, so that they understand. So, uh, this, uh, he's really looking around the room and inspecting like every little dot that's on the, on the carpet here. And he just went to head off, so try not to uh, finish. Try not to stop in it. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> look at that. So as social as he was when he first came to me, he 
he is really sniffing around the room, and he, he hasn't, he didn't really come back to me quickly for, um, to visit. He just kept uh, sniffing the room. He might have been sniffing totally to get a place to go to the bathroom. Uh, we will see in a minute, because I'm going to go back down on the floor. <laughs> very helpful. Front paws, a uh, very communicative uh, action, like an interaction with you. So let's see if you just wanted to go to the bath quickly. Okay. So again, licking, happy, and with me. So I'm uh, pretty sure this little fellow is, a de uh, you know, socially in, uh, focused more than environmental. I think the sniffing was uh, looking for a place to go to the washing. So he's quite happy to stay with me. And again, not in a sucky way, just a very uh, interactive way. So very, very nice. So he has a lovely social side. So we're going to get up and walk around and see if he, uh, what he does. So he can either ignore me Follow me. Control my feet by biting. <laughs> so this is absolutely lovely. So again, more social. Very, very good. So the idea uh, on this type of exercise is to... Um, very good. He couldn't really do any better. So you can introduce things. What's it? exercise in your house in a smaller room with toys like this, um, should he, you know, once he knows that if you call him he comes and there's connection there, um, make the room bigger and do the same thing and then outside in your backyard and then take it to a public place. Now he is getting to be a little bit um, demanding of my legs but not too, too bad. So if he does, just redirect his energy. What's this? Get him doing something different. But absolutely super. So this is also confirming the social side. He, he can walk around and leave me at any time, but he's not. Very good. Very good. So the patience and tolerance test is just, just that. Um, oh, he's got the hiccups. <laughs> he got the hiccups. <laughs> His body is super limp, and he's doing an absolutely beautiful job. He doesn't know why I just picked him up and held him like that, but um, super levels of patience. Uh, he um, has, you know, the typical uh, grooming and vets and everything that all dogs have. So they, you know, they have to have a certain level of tolerance, so that was very, very good. Getting uh... That's it. Yes. Can you bring it here? Oh, super job and dropped it. Now he, of course, does not know what bring it is. But super um, interactive. Puppy bring. Puppy bring. Oh, but Kane, super, super job again. He's quite interactive. Happy to do something with you. One more time. Okay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Get that paper. Very good. And bring. So super, uh, very good. Very good. Now there is use of teeth here, so he's going to use his teeth when he gets excited. So please use those, uh, those exercises. We don't do much with it here because we just want to see a base temperament. It's not uh, something, unless it's extreme. Um, but very, very good on the paper. 
very smart, very uh, trainable. Um, all of those great things. Yes? What do you think? He's just looking at me like, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? So, again, uh, very social little guy. Hey? Yeah? So we're going to give him a little bit of a treat. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Right here. <laughs> you don't want the treat. So he's only had uh, puppy food. Till now, so it's a different uh, texture, a uh, different flavor. So we're just making sure he likes it before we go further. I'll just move this. So we do this little treat test because uh, if you are giving your puppy I mean, uh, a treat for a job well done or incentive, um, if they are so excited about the treat, they can't focus. So it's almost counterproductive. Look, what's that? on the ground. No, <laughs> not the ground. So there is a bit of a loss of focus there. He can smell the treat, but he hasn't found the treat. So we're going to try it again. So he is just, um, what is that? Down here, look. Look. <laughs> I need to see you see it. Look. He wants me to do it. <laughs> so he either is not, um, so he did lose focus, but he's not like going crazy. Some puppies uh, just knock the cup all over and uh, forget there's a treat. He knew there was a treat, but he either doesn't like it as much as he should, <laughs> but uh, I'm uh, suggesting that you try a, a good treat just to encourage and use in your training. Uh, if he gets really excited and he can't uh, focus, just go back to using your kibble for a little while. <laughs> but there was a little bit of loss of focus there. Wasn't there, little man? Okay, what do you think about this? Hmm? Can you get this? Look. So that, that nice big body stretch is him being careful. Uh, he had, you know, he thinks the noise came from there, but he's not quite sure what it is. Um, he should startle. Uh, it's not the startle that's important. It's how he recovers. So this little guy, his body language didn't change. His tail is still up over his back. He did go on and look around by himself. And we're just going to wait for one second. Yes. Yeah, so he's off. So. Super job again. Didn't really bother with that. He's just waiting to see what are we going to do next. Very, very good. Hi. Are you good? Um, a lot of uh, uh, puppies would run to the door where they came in or shut right down completely. 
So this was a, a super recovery all by himself. So we're going to go with this thing. What's this? What is that? So very, very good. So again, he's a quite confident little fellow. He's a, a different motion, a different, there is a noise to this. Just not really sure, but he's like right back to see what it is. <laughs> and again, his body language tells me that he is not upset at all. So very, very good. So as in uh, all puppies, just keep introducing new uh, sec, you know, sounds and uh, textures, all different things, and just broaden their world and uh, keep the lovely confidence level that he has. So that's very good again. And you can see every time I come back to the table, he comes with me. So he's, uh, he's game, eh? He wants to do what you're doing. So, so, um, I'd say this little guy has a fairly low prey drive. He's had, he saw it for a moment, looked around, and then he's off. So that's quite uh, lucky for you. <laughs> um, so fairly low drive, and again, his lovely social nature. Um, yeah. So he is absolutely lovely, so I hope you enjoy. And. I should add that uh, if he's, the, you know, he's this attached, that the crate training is a good idea. He has to learn uh, not to be with you all the time. He has to learn that you have to go away. So absolutely super. Enjoy.